Hello everybody, my name is Atreya. I think chess is a game that sharpens your mind while still being fun. The chess club at Brooklawn is a perfect opportunity to get to improve at chess and also become a part of a positive community. Whatever your skill level might be, you're guaranteed to have fun. Hello, I am Vishal, and chess is a game that you definitely need to learn as you will develop quicker thinking skills, even in real life situations, and your IQ would increase. Our chess club will guarantee you that you'll get better at chess no matter what ELO rating you have or what proficiency you are at. And the best part about this is that it is fun. Hi, my name is Pablo, and the ch and chess club is really fun. It's good for relaxing, and it's also good if you want a challenge. It's really challenging, trust me, but it's also really fun at the same time. So if you're interested in joining, let us know, and, and we all hope to see you there. Hello, Brooklyn Middle School. As some of you may know, my name is Miss Skinner, and I am the advisor of Brooklawn's Environmental Club. The Environmental Club is a relatively new club that just started up last year. Our goal is to educate and spread awareness about environmental issues and take action to help protect this amazing planet we live on. As you know, this year and last year have been a little different than usual, but we have been staying busy and have big plans. Let me have some of our members tell you about what we have been doing and what's coming up. Hi, my name is Ashwika. One of the BMS Environmental Club's accomplishments last year was the Plastic Bag Ban Poster Contest. For this project, the Environmental Club spread awareness about Precipity's Plastic Bag Ban by making posters to help spread the word. Um, hi, my name is Radhesh. The Environmental Club sometimes shows documentaries at our meetings so we can learn more about the environment and what we can do to help. So far this year, we watched Dave and Ann Bora's uh, Life on Our Planet. Hi, my name is Mindy. Some Something else we do with the club is examine the impact that our daily activities at school and in the community have on the environment and work on developing solutions to minimize those environmental impacts. For example, Right now, we are looking into our alternatives for the styrofoam trays and plastic utensils that are used in the cafeteria. In the future, we plan to do community clean cleanup events to help keep our environment clean. We also plan on hosting tree planting events and contests. Did you know that trees are the planet's natural solution to climate change? Last, we have one special announcement. My name is Davia. Are you concerned about the environment but don't know what to do to help? Well, we have the perfect event for you. BMS Environmental Club will be hosting an environmental awareness event. This will be a virtual event that is open to anyone at BMS. At this event, you will learn all sorts of tips and tricks to help you become more environmentally friendly, and you will have fun doing it. There will be games, prizes, and lots of fun. Keep an eye out for our email with all the information. You won't want to miss it. BMS Environmental Club is open to all BMS students, so stop by one of our meetings if you are interested. We typically meet every other Tuesday after school. Our Google Classroom page has all of the information about meeting times, dates, and our Google Meet link. Our Google Classroom class code is F-T-X-V-G-I-Z. Thanks for listening, and we look forward to meeting any new members. Do you want to make a difference in our community? Do you want to be a better person? Well, look no further than the Brooklawn Middle School's Builders Club. In Brooklawn Middle School's Builders Club, we aim to make a difference, help those in need, and commit to a noble cause. We do monthly projects to help our school and community. 
Now it has become increasingly important to support each other through these difficult times. Over time, we have done many projects such as Candy Grams, Teacher for a Day, Code Drive, Pet Supplies Drive, Veteran Pen Pals, Hearts for Hope, and Thankful Hearts. We need you. Email either Mr. Archer at rarcher at pthsd.net or Mrs. Vicari at svicari at pthsd.net to get the Google Classroom code to join. We usually meet once a month to discuss our upcoming fundraisers and community service projects. We are looking forward to your contributions at the Builders Club. Je m'appelle Isabella. I've been coming to French Club for the past three years and I'm currently club president. We are holding club meetings over Google Meets right now, but last year and the year before, we held meetings in the lower B wing and it was possible to do a wider variety of things because we were in, in person. You can still do some activities while meeting virtually and it is just us. Je m'appelle Crystal Patel. What do we do in French Club? I've joined a French Club this year. It is very fun. We do Kahoots, Game Kits, and Bingo, and other fun activities in French Club. Also, not only is French Club fun, but you also get extra credit for coming to each meet. This is a great way to boost your grade for French. The extra credit is only for people who are also in French class. Thank you. Hi, je m'appelle Gautam. What do we do here in the club? Our madame makes Kahoots, Game Kits, and some other fun activities. Our goal is to learn French in a fun and creative way. Thank you. Ciao ragazzi! Mi chiamo Prof. Ricciuli. Hi everyone, my name is Prof. Ricciuli and I'm one of the Italian teachers at Brooklyn Middle School. Ciao ragazzi, my name is um, Prof. Kosha and I am the other Italian teacher at Brooklyn Middle School. Today we're going to show you a short video that shows you um, a little bit about what we do in Italian Club and I hope you enjoy it. Today we're starting to make, we're going to be making bruschetta. Um, so I preheated the oven at 350 and we have pane, we need pomodoro, aglio, pepe, sale, basilico, oil di oliva, and aceto. Okay? So these are all Italian things that we're using for our bruschetta. So I'm cutting the garlic for this. Now to shake, to, to, these are real peppers. So we
Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, a few other activities that we do in Italian club are um, we watch some Italian movies. An example is Pinocchio. Um, and we play some other traditional Italian games like Tombola, which is bingo. And Italian club is every other week and you can join even if you don't take Italian in school. Okay, hope to see you next year in Italian club. Arrivederci. Arrivederci. Joining the BMS Jazz Band is a great way to have some fun while playing your instrument. Jazz Band meets your school after usually about two months, two times per month. Instruments accepted into the group include alto, tenor, and various saxes, tr trumpets, trombones, piano, guitar, bass, and drum set. Auditions for Jazz Band are usually held in October, and students in any grade are welcome. We play and learn about different styles of jazz and music, including swing, rock, and modern jazz and we perform in the spring concert every year. Hi, I'm Sanjana. Hi, I'm Ruba. We are two of the editors for the Brooklyn Middle School Newspaper Club, The Nightlife, and we're here to tell you everything you may need to know about it. At the Newspaper Club, we write articles for a newspaper that gets emailed through all of the students through a PDF every couple of months. You may have seen these papers in your email before. Our club mainly focuses on journalism, like quick summaries or world events and upcoming holidays. We also include some things that aren't journalism. Poetry, save the dates, short stories, and cartoons have all made their way into the newspaper at some point. If you join the club, whatever you would write would end up being edited by our editors. Mrs. Anderson, our club coordinator, assigns new editors every couple of months. Editors don't do much to your article because we want to keep it yours. Only grammatical errors would be changed, so you would still have most of the creative control. If writing interests you or you just want to share information with your peers, feel free to email Ms. Anderson, the club coordinator and the teacher in charge during the Nightlife Newspaper Club. Thank you. Thank you. We are the peer leaders. My name is Audra. And my name is Maddie. We are in seventh grade and are representing the peer leaders. This group is open to seventh and eighth graders and we organize events that help people who are new to the school become involved and comfortable with Brooklyn. Unfortunately, because of COVID-19, not all the events organized by peer leaders will be as involved or will happen at all. This is how the events would look like during a year without COVID-19. One event that peer leaders have organized is the Buddy Program. Each seventh grade peer leader is paired with a group of sixth graders. Because the Buddy Program was introduced this year, we meet by Google Meet. The sixth graders in each group have a chance to get their questions about Brooklyn answered by their seventh grade buddies so they become more comfortable with Brooklyn. There are two events peer leaders organized to help fifth grade students become comfortable with the school. One of these events is visiting the elementary schools to explain some of the aspects of Brooklyn. Eighth grade peer leaders visit each elementary school to answer questions and explain schedules, electives, and languages to incoming sixth graders. The second event that peer leaders organized for fifth graders is Brooklyn Bridges. Here, all fifth graders come to Brooklyn and get to play games, tour the school, and experience new aspects of school. Each group is led through several activities led by peer leaders. The activities take place around the school, the fields, and the blacktop, and give fifth graders a chance to have fun, meet new people, and learn more about Brooklyn. Another event organized by peer leaders is tours for new students. When a new student comes to Brooklyn, a peer leader leads them around the school so the student knows where their classes are, where their lockers are, and the layout of the school. Peer leaders also help out with back to school night. We stand around the school ready to help parents find their kids' classrooms and answer any questions they may have about the building. Another part of peer leaders is working with the life skills students. This means we will be hanging out with them at lunch, playing games with them, and just being there to talk. Overall, a peer leader's job is to be a positive role model for those around them. Whether it's during one of these activities or just walking around the school, it's important to show kindness to everyone. This is Lily. She is auditioning for Region Choir on Soprano 1, and she will be singing two scales, a low scale and a high scale. Low scale pitch. Beautiful. 
beautiful. If playing your instrument is your thing, then you may want to consider being involved in one of the Region 1 Honors Bands. These bands are sponsored by the North Jersey School Music Association and welcome outstanding instrumentalists from the counties of Bergen, Essex, Hudson, Morris, Passaic, Sussex, and Warren. The Elementary Honors Band is an opportunity for sixth graders who excel in instrumental music and are recommended by their band teacher. These recommendations usually happen in January or February, and the actual festival day is typically the first Saturday in May. Imagine playing in a band with the top sixth grade instrumentalists from seven counties. Participants spend the day together rehearsing and then present a concert for parents and friends that afternoon. The Intermediate Region Band is open to North Jersey's top instrumentalists in grades seven, eight, and nine. These students are required to memorize scales practice their sight reading skills, and prepare a solo. Rather than being recommended by their teachers, these students actually go through an individual audition pro process and are scored by judges in order to be chosen for this group each year. Auditions are usually in early February with a performance in March. The BMS band directors will work with interested students, coaching them on their solos and working through audition requirements. Participation in these groups is wonderful and fulfilling, but beyond that, learning about and getting comfortable with the audition process is also a great thing to experience. If you work hard and love to play, be sure to ask Ms. Sack or Mr. Stella about region band opportunities. Hola everyone, y bienvenidos al Club de Español. Hi everyone, and welcome to Spanish Club. Me llamo Señora Mera. My name is Señora Mera, and I am the Spanish Club Advisor here at Brooklawn Middle School. Voy a hablarte sobre las actividades del club. I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about the activities we do in Spanish Club. Hopefully, you guys will want to join. Yo voy a leer las actividades en español. I'm going to read the activities in Spanish, and hopefully you guys can use what you know and the pictures I've provided to help figure out what I am talking about. Primero, cocinamos y comemos. También vemos películas y videos. Juguemos al trivia, bailamos, escuchamos música, y hacemos arte. So the very first thing on the top left, I said we cook and we eat. Depending if we are virtual or in person would depend on whether we are going to cook a dish together at home or I would bring something in to share. We also watch videos and movies. Coco and Selena are very popular. Um, we play trivia. We use Kahoot to learn about the different Spanish-speaking countries. Bailamos and escuchamos música go hand in hand. We dance and we listen to music. When we dance, we learn traditional Spanish dances such as flamenco, salsa, merengue, and others. And last but not least, hacemos arte. We do art projects. Here are the países hispanohablantes. Hay 21 países hispanohablantes. There are 21 Spanish-speaking countries. We're always looking for new members from different countries to help bring a little bit of their culture to Brook One. Algunas fiestas, some holidays that we celebrate are popular and we really learn about the culture and the reasons why these holidays are celebrated. Like Dia de los Muertos en Cinco de Mayo, from Navidad y el Año Nuevo, all the way to Pascua and Carnaval, we really have a good time learning about these holidays and actually doing some of the traditions that come along with them. La comida. This is my favorite part of Spanish club. This year we actually cooked a dish called Los Esquites, which is Mexican street corn. Um, we kind of took our own spin on it and we were at home virtually this year. We all cooked our own and these are just some pictures that we made of the Mexican street corn. El arte. So we do a lot of art in Spanish club, um, from papel picado to mola art, Guatemalan burritos, sugar skulls, and paper flowers. Here are some photos of some of the Dia de los Muertos crafts that come with Spanish club. And last but not least, nos vemos en el Club de Español. We hope to see you soon in Spanish club. Gracias.
Hi, everybody. I'm Ms. Fazzini. I am one of the advisors for the Drama Club up here at Brooklyn. Here's a little bit about how we do things up here. So we do a fall production and a spring production. So the fall is usually just a strict stage play, no music or anything involved. Um, but it's still really fun. We open that up to 7th and 8th graders just because it's so early on in the year. And then in the spring, we do a musical that is open up to 6th, 7th, and 8th graders. Uh, you do have to audition for both productions in order to be a part of them. So just because we try to see who's the right fit for each part and just to see how many people we can incorporate. It's a really fun group. If you love to be on stage, dance, sing, act, definitely consider trying out. Here's a look. Hi everybody, I'm Ms. Fazzini. I am one of the advisors for one of the branches of Stage Crew. We're each gonna tell you a little bit about what we do. There's three different things that fall under our umbrella of Stage Crew. We've got the Backstage Crew, which Ms. Sobieski will tell you a little bit more about. Um, I handle the lights and sound, which I will also tell you more about. And Mrs. Matarazzo handles our set design. So, um, like I said, I do lighting and sound. So our lighting and sound, um, is really a huge aspect of the show. We make sure that the lighting is set up appropriately for each scene. Um, we do the same thing with our microphones to make sure that the cast can be heard properly. So there's a lot of um, cool opportunities and different techie related responsibilities that come with that particular piece of stage crew. So if you're interested in that type of stuff, it would be really cool for you to consider getting involved. Okay, I'm Mrs. Matarazzo. I do set design. What we do is we build and paint our sets as well as some props and help out with costumes. I have a group of usually 7th and 8th graders who are usually, hopefully, very into art who help out with all of that. And I'm Sobieski. I help with the backstage crew and we will help with scene changes and moving around the backdrops for those. We'll also work the curtains for the show and we'll help in any other way the cast needs. Sometimes they need help with costume changes. Sometimes we have to um, help them with props in and out um, of the different scenes. And it's a really great way to work together as a team. It's a lot of fun. And if it's something that you think you might be interested in, I really hope you consider it. Yeah, we love it. We love having everybody involved and we work with the Drama Club consistently. It's a big happy family once we all come together. So we really hope that you will consider joining us. If you have any questions, please feel free to email us. See you guys later.